I'm Barry Cope, one of the attorneys here at the law firm of Unger & Co. And today I want to talk to you about a question we get asked all the time, which is how to beat a speeding ticket in court. The first thing you have to know about how to beat a speeding ticket in court is that you've got to be prepared. You can't just walk in and expect you're going to get the case dismissed. It doesn't work that way. You have to know a little bit about the type of ticket you received. In this case, if it's a speeding ticket, look at the actual ticket, look at the citation number on there, and then go online, either Google or somewhere else, and look it up and actually read the elements that the state has listed that the officer must prove against you in court. If you don't know that, you don't even know where to begin. So that's always the first place to begin. In Florida, an officer will generally use one of three ways to determine your rate of speed. A radar gun, which I'm sure you're familiar with, pace clock, which is when they use the actual speedometer in the vehicle they're driving in, or VASCAR, which is a time distance measuring device. When they set up two points on a road and when you go from point A to point B, the computer tells them how fast you were going. Each ticket does carry with it a certain type of paperwork and it's your obligation to look at that and make sure it's accurate. I can't tell you how many times just by asking to look at the paperwork, the officers indicate they don't have it and they're going to dismiss your ticket. So that's a nice thing to know. The other thing is, if you actually look at your ticket and you don't see the type of speed measuring device the officer used, that's another way you can get the case dismissed. Go up to the judge, obviously wait for your name to be called, go up to the judge and tell him there is no indication of how the officer determine your rate of speed and therefore your due process rights were violated because you were not able to prepare an adequate defense. See what happens. Some judges might agree with you and some won't, but if you ask nicely, respectfully, there's nothing, no harm in asking. So I definitely think you should give it a shot. But if it is on there, talk to the officer beforehand, look at the paperwork. And, and this is where a little bit of common sense comes in. If you see something that doesn't look right, it probably isn't right. So that's an opportunity for you to go up to the judge when your name gets called and say you looked at the officer's paperwork and something didn't look right to you and show the judge. And many times the judge will see what you're talking about and dismiss the case. So that's another great way to get a case dismissed. Hopefully, I've given you some good tips you can use to get your case dismissed. If for whatever reason you're not comfortable going or you'd prefer to have an attorney go on your behalf, no problem. Just call the number on the screen and we'll see if we can help you out. Thanks. And good luck.